It's the last working day of the week for most of you. Also, awesome week has been so far, and we're here to top it up with the most interactive 30 minutes on your TV. This is Joy News Interactive. It's the morning after the painful loss to the indomitable Lions of Cameroon. We'll discuss that and look at whether or not Ghanaians still have an interest in the ongoing African Cup of Nations. There's a fallout of from the gender minister designate Otiko Achisa Jabba's vetting. We'll speak about that too. And guess who will join us later on the show? Nigeria's own Mike Azeronia. He's in town. Let's get talking on our social media platforms on Facebook and Twitter. Find us using the name Joy News on TV. The show is live on Joy News on Multi TV. We are also live on DSTV channel 421 on Go TV channel 114. My name is Miss G. Now, first on our table, all 10 minority members on Parliament's Appointment Committee have voted against the approval of Otiku Asisa Jaba as Gender, Children and Social Protection Minister. However, the committee has recommended Ms. Jaba and five other ministerial appointees for approval by the minority, majority decision. The minority refusal to support Ms. Jabba's approval stems from her disclosure during vetting that she did not undertake national service because she had to travel out of the country. The minority position, according to a report on the vetting committee, is that someone who has not served her nation should not be allowed to take up a ministerial position. We'll go take a Facebook comment. All right. So on Facebook, we start with you, Tavia, who says, what did we see under the past government? A cabinet minister calls for the opposition leader as a dangerous person. Even president himself said Nana was dangerous. Didn't the outgoing gender minister sign for the Munche 3 release while she knew they insulted and threatened a woman like herself? Now, Ron says that when you can insult your president and claim it's criticism, Abi, we they wed you. Come and for us here, they, they, there you go, you know, say JM is not your colleague. And those majority too, hmm, they should just appoint everyone and stop the vetting. All these, whatever you put there. And seriously, Otiko Jaba and Anita De Sosu don't deserve to be ministers in this country. And also, uh, Kapli says that if this is anything to go with, uh, why then will a nominee try to bribe the majority? Thinking about uh, Ajako's bribery issue, and the Wood says, if OT Bless could have passed through, why is the minority being so? This eloquent and hardworking woman, I'm sure you're asking, what was their reason? Please post that one too for us to know. We said the reason it stems from the fact that she didn't do national service. That's just the reason the minority wouldn't let her sail through. And also, Dazi says, Otiko is a team C compared to Oyelita and Adria Alima. That office is not MPP party office where she can spew any rubbish and go scot free. And uh, Brown says the minority should go to. Mm, and majority, please carry on. Majority is always the winner, says William. Majority isn't strong. Minority isn't strong. They better keep quiet. I use a better word for you. The NDC wants to use better to settle personal scores. And uh, Gatti says they can go to court. Yes, that's the final thing they can do. Seriously, Otiko, Aka Kakra. And that's coming from uh, Nati. Baumia says, majority carries the vote. Good, better, best from Nana Kwa Minyami. Bam. <laughs> and uh, this cannot be read on TV. Can we go for some other comments? And uh, hatred can't win or hatred can win. Uh, that's uh, some comments we're reading from you on Facebook concerning Madame Otiko Afisa Jabba. We move on to some other stories. And the dream of the Blasters to lift the AFCON trophy was shattered by the indomitable Lions of Cameroon on Thursday following the 2 0 loss. The usual blame game has started with many asking for the head of the coach and also asking some players to be sacked. Let's see what you have to say to us on Facebook concerning that. And I go straight away to Eric Asari Boatin's comment. It says, because some Ghanaians talk too much, we tortured the goalkeeper psychologically. It's time some Ghanaians started learning to appreciate efforts 
from other people. And uh, Ricky says, the team needs new direction, right from management to the players. To me, it's the good that they are out. We can't waste all of the nation's money on football whilst workers uh, continue to suffer. Ibrahim says, lack of experienced players. Remember Burkina Faso's uh, Aristo Bank, um, who is Bant, who took to the semis with experience, and Egypt's goalkeeper took to them to the finals with experience too, and Cameroon were the stronger side. Okay, Solomon Ashita says, I always say these players, or these players, are not patriotic at all. All they think of is their stomach. The coach was, mm -mm. Uh, the Ghanaian Football Association was also, uh -uh, and all players are not committed to the nation. All they think of is, uh, let me play for Ghana, better word to use. It's normal we lost because after all, some of us knew we don't have a strong team. The FA and his charges pretend that they are capable of winning the trophy, and we equally pretend that by supporting them. If I don't see this trophy in my lifetime, Hmm, hopefully. And uh, also, I take the last one. Um, it says, fellow citizen, I realize some individuals have already started calling results uh, being uh, Ghana, between Ghana and Cameroon. The last time I checked, Ghana was in a comfortable lead. Really, we still are. Yes, we are in a comfortable lead in our minds. Okay, so let's go to another story following the defeat many people say that we've lost interest in the tournament do you feel same and again we go on facebook to read your comments we go on facebook to read your comments have we lost interest in the afghans or we are behind egypt or we think cameroon will pick the cup let's see what you've got to say on facebook okay before we read those comments let's take a break we'll be back with some more Now you're welcome back to the Joy News Interactive here on Multi TV, Joy News Channel to be precise. And uh, I'm in the studio with two very, very handsome men. It's like we, we, are, we are just uh, fair people occupying the studio now. And Mike Hezaroni, like I told you earlier, is in town and he's in town to promote his latest movie, Brother Jiku. This brother and a fine brother, well, well, this is Brother Jiku. And also in studio with us is the man AZ. AZ1. Is he? It is a one. Is a one. Uh huh. So we have both of them here. You're welcome to our studio, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Okay, so Mike, you're in town. Brother Jeku is yeah. the reason you're in town. Yeah. I know it's a comic uh, movie. Yes. It's, it's a swear from all that you've been doing. Well, um, first of all, I'm an actor, right? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So. Um, an actor is one that should be able to get um, his clothes off. When I mean his clothes, the clothes of who he is, and then wear another character and make it to be believable. Mm -hmm. So, um, again, I'm somebody who doesn't like to be boxed to a corner. I have done comedies in the past, but not too much. But right now, you know, I told myself, okay, with this challenge, hey, let me, let me go the comic route. I, you know? Enough of the strong character you play. Let's give some people you know, yeah, reasons to yeah. laugh. And, and, of course, mm -hmm. you give people reasons to laugh and mm -hmm. give yourself... Uh, the, the, actors, challenge. the challenge as mm. well. Yeah. I see. So it's showing today yes. at the Silver Bear Cinemas yes. and uh, tomorrow at uh, West, uh, West, West, West Hills West Mall. West. Yeah. At what time? At 6 o'clock. At 6 o'clock you need to be there. There'll be a red carpet segment so you need to you go take pictures yeah, with Michael, uh, AZ and all the other stars that will be there. But uh, your country played the Afcon before. You, you won the cup some time back. Ghana played yesterday. Mm. No, we are like cousins, you know. Mm. Uh, don't talk about <laughs> us. Just tell us. Have you lost interest? You still have, no. um, you know. Uh, for me, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna, a few of your players are, um, you know, my friends. Tell me. I, you know, I give them pep talks once in a while. Which of these players are your oh, friends? come on. I mean, uh, every year, SCN, Asemua, Jian. I tell Those you. are my people. So I call them, give them pep talks. And for me, I said, yeah, go. Mm. Go win So this, you were you for know. Ghana? Of course. So when it didn't happen... Trust me, I, 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 wow. Have you lost know. interest in the Afghans? Well, you know, for me, I, I, I like to win, you know, and mm -hmm. this time I gave it to Ghana, you know, okay. for real. Even before they even played the first, the kick of the first ball. You knew Ghana was yeah. going to win, yeah, not because I, you're I in Ghana. So. No, not because, I'm not trying to score <laughs> cheap points, but really, I gave it to Ghana. Okay, so we have Egypt and Cameroon finals. Who do you think will take the cup? 
or the trophy home? I think it's not going to be the norm. I, 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 something tells me Cameroon will snitch. Them. Okay, he says Cameroon. Aza, who is taking it home? Of course, Cameroon. Cameroon, will okay, home, so yeah. two people for Cameroon. I, I don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. But um, then, before I talk about any other things, there's been this story that we've been following keenly here in Ghana. It's about uh, the Potter's two faced Bibia. Is that, why are you laughing already? You were talking about it. Is there Potter's that uh, you are also, you know, rooting for or gunning for? Well, um, I've been outside the country. Mm -hmm. I came into you know, Africa yesterday. But um, <coughs> the truth of the matter is, hey, if you have an icon who is not selfish, and he says, you know, I want to believe that Two Face is one who is an icon in Africa. And of course, being an icon means you have lots of people who enjoy your goodwill. And, uh, you know, whether you like it or not, a little bit of you trickles down into the streets. So um, if there is a problem, he has dependents as well, mm. you know, that goes beyond his nuclear family. So if there is a problem in the nation, you know, I mean, and he stands up and says, hey, I want to talk about this, you know, I mean, it's laudable, you know. So for me, anybody, you know, some people are criticizing him, some people are, but for me, it's, it's laudable. You know, if he wants to talk about it, why not? Would he have gone for the process if you were in Nigeria, even though he's been cancelled now, because I hear that. Yeah, I, I heard that too, mm -hmm. you know, while I was coming, because really I've been sleeping. You You've know, been sleeping. I'm asking some more questions concerning that, but let me go to Eze. Eze has been, you know, punching holes in a lot of things here in Ghana. <laughs> you, we've accommodated you, and now you want to, you know, hey. punch us more. Why? What's happening? You uh, People, you know, when you what, said you that, yeah, he said oh, something wrong. Yeah. He said that the highlight music has done what? Uh, you're being judgmental in this case. Okay, so what I do you think? I think we should just talk about Let's logic. talk about Jekyll. Okay, let's talk about, about, about Jekyll. <laughs> Before we talk about... Uh, that's fine. Yeah. Before we talk yeah. more about Jekyll, let's yeah. just do another minute on uh, this process. Yeah. Now, I, 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 I monitored keenly because the issue with... You know, we had the Zoom saw, Master Vigil. Mm. So it's something we've done in the past. Mm. So monitoring the space is like we can relate. Mm. Now, is there anything wrong with Buhari's government for you? Is, is there crisis? Is there, is there reason to go on a protest? For me, you know, I'm not just going to go... with. I've, I've never been very, I've never been one who has been, you know, like to go the political route, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but right now, um, I mean, people are facing recession, you know. And people, I mean, uh, amenities are getting much more expensive. Uh, and these are things people are not so used to. So right now, you know, if people are crying, all we're just saying is government, listen. Mm -hmm. you know, listen to the cries of your people. Leaders, listen to the cries of your people. And you know how to work this out. That's why you're there. So make this work but out. But his, his media person on publicity and other, as I'll come to you, sure. but his media person on publicity and uh, uh, says that people are just being impatient. People who are going on protests and the people who wanted good luck, Jonathan, to win. I, I don't know about who is winning, who didn't win. Mm -hmm. who didn't. For me, look. The average man wants to know, can food be in my, my pot mm. and then on my table at the end of the day? And when it's not coming, he will complain. He doesn't know those dynamics of uh, economics you want to tell him. Trust me, I mean, how many people know about policies when you go down the street now, ask anybody? They don't know that about the policies in Ghana. Not many of them know about this. They're not that educated to know that. So all we're just saying is people want to breathe. People. You know, government just make this. So it's work. in the right order. So government just make things work. Make things work. Now you you are going with uh, Mike Zeronia on the promotion of Brother Jeku. Uh, are you by any way related to him? Oh, he's been a friend from way. He's back. been a friend. <laughs> so you're in Ghana. You have Mike as a friend as well. But you have stayed in this space. Let's talk about uh, how you know Ghanaians have accommodated you all this while. You you have a song. You want to talk about Brad Jeku? My director keeps telling me that I should tell you about. You talk about your song before we, we finally <laughs> sum up with Brad Jeku. Okay, that's okay. That's uh -huh. all right. All right. Now let's talk. What do you want to hear? So I said, what was that comment you made? They said you haven't made too many songs that have become hits in Ghana, but yet you, 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 you're saying that our music is not you. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> not you. OK, hey. the fact is that, mm -hmm. um, well, the whole thing started from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, apart from uh, my personal life, it's quite different from uh, talking about Ghana music. Uh -huh. And I'm sure, you know, today most people see me on the screen, probably didn't know where I started from. Probably they don't know how I've also contributed into the industry. I'm sure you particularly, if you know, you probably know why I made these comments. It started far back as Hip Life was born mm -hmm. as a newborn baby. Yeah. 
So we had issues. And since then, our music is not getting across Africa does not really mean it's a bad news. It's something to ginger the people to work a little bit harder. I see that most of them just do what they do within the offshore of the city. They don't think of pushing it a little bit outside, get to Nigeria. Most Nigerians come in. You see him, he's here yeah, to promote. True. So and these are some of the things we have to do for ourselves. So when we go out there, showcase your kind of music. Like the music they do now is a lot more mature than what we used to do before. So when I talk about working in hand in hand with old actors, old musicians does not really mean I'm shouting or I'm beefing Ghanaians. So it was just too But it's just that the truth pushes. hurts. Mm. And um, I've been here for a couple of years, and I supported the music in my only two ways. So when we talk about Ghana music, you're not talking about my music. That's the only thing I talked about. So I'm, I'm not beefing Ghana. I'm still here. You're still and, um, here. I only want them to work a little bit. Like Shata, for example, like I said, if he can get into Ghana, Nigeria, for example, do some little promo. But 20 years no, let's say 17 years ago, I talked about this with Reggie Roxon. That was when the birth of Hip Life was given. I talked about it. Like, look, we have a new thing, and it's high time we take it out there yeah, to show people what we have. But since then, it's been within us here. And we are and still not pushing. Well, anyway, let's see what comments people have on Facebook for you, Michael, and then Aza as well. So, Baumia says, it's good to be an actor. Is it good to be an actor or an actress? What motivated you to be an actor? What do you think? Do you think you're a role model? How does his wife feel when about his romance? a lady as far as acting is concerned so all these four questions for you <laughs> uh, you can see them on the screens I, I didn't them. oh boy you yeah. know what I don't talk about my family uh -huh. but I'll talk professional mm -hmm. um, truth is I was a child actor and um, somewhat space I'm an accountant too, yeah you know, I read about that and um, in some space I delved into corporate, the corporate world, and then um, when my company had a little break, um, they wanted the, uh, the owner of the shipping company because I left the bank to a shipping company, and then when he wanted to move to Tanzania, and he wanted to take me as this little accountant, mm. you know, who was, I think I was vibrant, you know, yeah. but I said no, I didn't want to go then, and then my stage coach found me somewhere I was uh, buying fuel when I was waiting for another bank job, and um, I'm here now, you know. So, so you think you're a role model I, like he's asking? I, yes, of course. Uh, I, I want to believe so. I don't like to score myself points, mm -hmm. you know, because even in my craft, when I go to work, I always like to have this mindset like I know nothing. You know, it helps me become a better actor on sets, you know. So in that same vein, I don't like to score myself too much, but I want to believe, yes, I'm a role model. Yes, I, 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 I'm a preacher in somewhat way because whatever I do, and what, the beauty of what we do in Africa, you know, is... Our movies tell our stories the way it is. We're not fictitious. We don't tell stories, you know, to tell you, oh, we are going to the moon, <laughs> or, or we are, there's the people live in the moon, some of us. But no, we don't tell you. So we tell you the way we exist. And that is why we've become a window for which Africa is, was, and then probably would be. So uh, in that vein, whatever we do connects to somebody somewhere, you know, and we, one has been able to build a followership of young people, even old people who look up to you and say, okay, you can, uh, because you have viewership, now you are iconic to be able to educate, you know, some wrongs and, of course, re-educate ignorance. You put, your, you put your son on Instagram, you don't, you, apart from the picture we saw of your wife, you, you, like, you don't like to talk about your family. I'm That's not talking about my family. You're not talking about your family. Okay, family. so uh, <laughs> Mike is my most loved actor in Nigeria. His style of dressing and the way he talks is simply amazing. I wish thank to meet you. him one day thank and you. he says thank you. I can't stop watching his movies. He's awesome. He's, he's an awesome producer and actor, very talented Thank and you. handsome. But one thing, how his wife, okay, people are asking of your wife, because not talking about family. All right, <laughs> welcome, Mike, to Ghana. Between Gollywood and Nollywood, who has been, uh, who has the fresh actors and actresses? This is a question to you. Who has the freshest actors and actresses? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to, um, allow me borrow a leaf from what he said. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to contest that. Okay, I don't even have the tool to contest that because that is also the reason I'm here. You know, I'm promoting my movie as well, and at the same time, you know, con uh, having a synergy with some of the producers here as well and actors here as well to bring back what we lost. You know, because there's a sequel, there's good, there's a, a series that's going to be shot here in the okay. movie as well. You know, of which I'm one of the pioneers of that. You know, so. We had the synergy, you know, 
between um, the Nigerian and Ghanaian actors, all of a sudden, there's this vacuum. What happened? I don't know. But it's not from Nigeria, trust me. Is it from here? I don't even know. Oh, I'm not getting into that. So you, you just said it's from here. <laughs> no, I don't even know, but it's not from the actors. Okay, but anyways, so let's talk we about are, your movie. No, we're getting back. We're okay, good. we're, we're getting good. back. Yeah. So finally, let's talk about a movie. Which, are the, who, which characters are we expecting to see this evening in that Brajiku? Well, um, the thing is, the movie initially, uh, um, it's a feel-good movie, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, a character. I played, you know, a naive village guy who doesn't speak very good English. Um, in fact, I call it earthquake grammar, mm. you know, because his English, I don't know where he got that from. But, but you played Brad. I played that. You okay. know, I played that. Um, and Brad is born out of a character I played in a movie that was uh, the, one of the most successful movies on DVD three years ago. And people love the movie, so I took the character. The name of the movie was Family Man. It's Family Man. So I took that Brad I made it cinematic. So um, you have myself in the movie, you have Angelo Okori, you have lots of um, Kenyan uh, and Tanzanian superstars. In, in, the movie. in the movie. Lydia Forsen was to be in this movie, but we had flight issues. And she couldn't make it. So she has, part of what we shot for her has been brought to the sequel that we're shooting in Ghana. And Côte d'Ivoire as well. All right, thank you very much. And I'm sure you have more discussions with these folks when you meet them at the Accra Mall today at 6 p.m. Uh, Silverbed Cinemas. At, uh, also tomorrow, you can make a date with them at uh, the West Hills Mall, Silverbed Cinemas there. Yeah. And then you get to watch Brajiku and all the committee comes with. Thank you very much, Mike Thank Chazeroni. you, very much for thank you as a God one for joining us here on Joining Hello. Interactive on multi tv join us super tag my name is miss g and stay tuned to your join news channel there's more to come have a good morning good morning mm -hmm.